welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another Ice Yarns haul to share with you. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now, today's Thursday and this arrived at 9 o'clock this morning and I ordered this Tuesday evening. It was about 7 or 8 o'clock at night. So it's taken less than two days to get from Turkey to the UK. <laughs> So excited. So I've been saving it all day to share with you. So let's get in and see what I've got. So really impressed with the shipping time as always. Um, I went for the cheapest shipping um, option and um, it just happened to be the fastest. So work that one out, I don't, I don't know. So this is it, I'm getting in. Oh, and if it sounds a bit echoey in here, it's because I'm decorating, so I've emptied a lot of stuff out from here. So uh, it does sound a bit echoey. Right, let's get into this bad boy. Oh, I don't want to rip anything. Carry on that long line there. <laughs> oh, oh, ring, ring. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> ah, here we go, here it is. It's a parcel I've been waiting a day and a half for. Okay, let's see what we've got. Right, we've got those, got that, we've got this, lovely jubbly. Okay, so first up are these three, they're all the same. And I just need to put my glasses on so that I can see what they are. How do I look? Fabulous, darling. So here we go. These are softly baby. Oh, softly baby baby. Oh no. <laughs> this it's right. Okay, so it's called softly baby, and one is called uh, baby pink. So it's softly baby baby pink. One softly baby white and one is softly baby light pink. So guess what I'm going to be making with this? Hmm, baby blanket. I've never made a baby blanket before, but my next door neighbour, she's having a granddaughter. So uh, I thought I would make her something sort of nice and squishy and lovely. So there we go. That's what those three are. So these um, are... Let's these are... Each pack contains four balls, four balls, four balls, four skins, or whatever you want to call them. Lovely and soft, really soft. So these are 50% acrylic, 50% polyamide, 100 gram balls, which is 210 meters. Um, and these cost £4.85. So that's just over a pound a ball. Yes, I had to pay shipping. Uh, the total cost of my yarn came to £26.66, which is about $32. I paid £16 shipping, so my total came to £42.81, so that's about $52. And I got one, two, three, four, five, I've got six packs. So if you divide that £16 postage between six packs, it's less than £3 a pack. So it's, and you just get it all at once. And it's, it's all the same type of wool and everything. So it's just, and it takes down a half to get to you and it's just fabulous. So there we go. So that's, that's the white shade. So if you've got any good ideas for baby blankets, I was thinking of the hugs and kisses one, which is like zigzags with the little puffs or bubbles or popcorns or whatever you want to call them. But if you can think of any other baby blanket that I could do, please let me know down below. So uh, yeah, so there we go. I think it's a, ooh, what is it? I think it's a double knit. Mm, I think it's a double knit. I'm pretty sure it's a double knit. So that's the white one. So then we've got um, baby pink and light pink. I'm assuming this is the baby pink. I'll get one of each out and we can compare side by side. How gorgeous is this? 
how cute. Oh, I guess it, does it say the colour on here? Let's have a look. No, it just says softly baby. So there we go, there's the two together. I think this is the baby pink and this is the light pink. But aren't they lovely? Beautiful colours. Beautiful. And then the, the white as well. Isn't that just going to make a fabulous, fabulous baby blanket? So sweet. So that was that. So each of those packs were £4.85 each um, or $5.99 each. Now, the other thing that I got was this, there we go, which is the uh, Pastel Cotton White Orchid Blue. I have already bought a pack of this before um, and uh, I don't think it's going to be enough to make a poncho. So while I was ordering the baby wool, uh, and this was £4.00 which is about, well, $4.99, you know, just under $5. This was £4. So it just made sense to buy it. At the, I mean, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. So I got that as well. And then the last two items, again, these are the, oh, this is escaping from the bag. These two, again, are the same. These are cotton light, and we've got mint green and off white. And I'm going to, to make a poncho out of those because I just love ponchos. And I thought these two colours, what the, the poncho is like, and um, it's, it's just an uh, ordinary poncho, but it's um, got stripes. So I was going to do one stripe green and one stripe white. And I thought that would just be like a really nice colour combination and, you know, I love mint green as well. And this is really soft and lovely and I love the way that cotton drapes because it's quite sort of heavy, isn't it? So there we go. So I've got those. They, again, um, they come in, right, I'll keep that there so you can, oops, <laughs> keep that there so you can have a look. Um, they are, you get four balls in a pack. Um, it is 100% cotton, um, 100 gram balls, which is 187 metres. Um, and again, four, four pounds a pack, that's, that's eight pounds. I'm going to make a poncho for eight pounds. It's just silly, silly. And I love the colours. Love the colours. So that's my little haul. So I've got three sets of um, wool for the baby blanket, the white, the light pink and the pink. Uh, I've got the cotton, uh, pastel cotton to make a poncho. And I've now got this white and green to make a stripy poncho, which is gonna be lovely. So that's that. So really, really pleased. Um, I've never ordered any of that apart from the, uh, the uh, this one. I've never ordered the baby stuff before and I've never ordered the cottons and um, really really good good quality feel very soft feel very nice so that was my ice yards haul um so now i'm just going to show you a few uh, finished objects and uh, a whip that i've got going as well so the first thing i wanted to show you was if you can see it is my chair cover here which is made from ice yards it's, it's a mile a minute pattern but I used it to cover my chair so it's got uh, the white is the white is uh, favorite and the eyelash is I think it's called Primavera um, and so those work together so I used a whole whole um, whole pack of the Primavera to do the whole thing it goes all the way I've got a Scalloped bottom like that, and over the back, I wonder if we can see if I turn it around. Over the back, we've got the pom poms or oh, berries, berry border berries. That was it, wasn't it? What is it? I can't say dingly dangly dongles or something, anyway. So that's that. So that covers my chair, so it helps protect it. 
and it's nice and snugly and warm as well. So that's lovely. So those were all from Ice Yarns too. Right, so another finished object is my lovely Lost in Time shawl. Now this took me just under a month to make and I used yarn art flowers in I think it was number 274 and it has the grey and then it has the lime green and then it has the beige then the cream now that's where I actually ran out of yarn from the cake so I had to go and buy a single ball of four ply in this grey just to do the little scalloped bottom oh hello but it is so lovely, so lovely. Um, it was a really interesting pattern to do the Lost in Time shawl. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't boring. You could, you know, there's always something a bit different to do. So, and it's, you know, very intricate and lovely and really enjoyed making it. So yes, that's how I would wear it like that. I don't know whether to put any tassels on it or not. What do you think? Tassels? To tassel or not to tassel? Now, here is my work in progress. What I'm doing now is, it's a pattern from Hobby or Hobby, however you want to say it, and it's called the, the Winter Shells Poncho, and it's a free poncho on their website. And I've used uh, Signet Boho Spirit in Breeze, and you do two rectangular panels and then you join them up together. Uh, so this is the colourway. It has the greens and the dusky blues and the white. And that's very lovely. You can tell I like a poncho, can't you? So yeah. So I've done one panel. That took me five days. Um, not all day, but quite a lot of the time. And so I'm just going to be doing the second one. And I think I used, for this one, I've used a five mil hook. And I think actually I should have used a bigger hook because this is very, I don't know what to say, I don't want to say tight. Dense, it's very, it's going to be really heavy. I mean, this took just under, I think it was, it was just over three balls. Yeah, just over three balls. So I'm going to be wearing like six balls of wool and it's, I mean, it's going to be lovely and warm. Um, and, but, um, yeah, I think if I'd have used a bigger hook, it would have been a bit more airier and lighter and, I don't know, it's going to be like I'm going to be wearing a blanket. That would look nice, won't it? So there we go. That's just a few little updates from me. That was my ice yarn haul, uh, two finished objects and my current whip. And I just want to show you um, a gift that I received from my yarny friend, Sally. She got me this. I mean, isn't that just brilliant? <laughs> so funny, love it. So, thanks for popping by. Thanks for seeing what I've got in my goodies. And let me know what sort of baby blankets you think I should make. Um, I want to use something that's got the white and the two different colour pinks in it. So I want to make it to look really lovely. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.